All right, here we go. Question number two in our college algebra, homework number seven in my lab math. They've given us an exponential equation here. They want us to solve for t. So up here in the uh, screen, I've got the problem written down. Let's look at how to solve this for t. Uh, first of all, having an exponential equation, we could consider the method of common bases. However, we have a base of e, and it's probably not going to be very easy to convert 0.31 to e to some power. So what we're going to use instead is converting this equation to logarithmic form. Okay, so here goes the poem again. We're going to bring the base down. That's going to make that log base E. Okay, bring the base down. Switch the other two around. So log base E of 0 0.31 equals negative 0 0.45t. That's how you convert an exponential to log, is you simply bring the base down and switch the other two around. Okay, so now it's time to remember a fun fact that log base E is actually natural log. So we're going to replace log base E with natural log of 0.31. Notice I can drop that leading zero if I feel like it, and I do, equals negative 0.4. 4, 5t, and then we're to the last step. If I want to solve for t, I simply need to divide both sides by negative 0.45. And now we're going to need the help of our handy dandy calculator. So let's bring him up. And we're going to need a fraction. So we're going to hit the fraction button. We've got the natural log of. 0.31, don't forget to close that parenthesis, over negative 0.45. And where do they want me to round to? It says round to four decimal places. Okay, so we need to round to four decimal places. That's 2.6026. 2.6026. Two point six zero two six should be the correct answer, rounded to four decimal places. Let's see if my lab math likes it. Point six zero two six. Bam! There it is. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.